Just after 11 o'clock last night, this car drove down Blue Spruce Avenue off of Appleby Line. You can see the passenger get out, look around, and then walk up to and steal a pride flag sign from a front lawn. Last night, um, mine, as well as many of my neighbors, uh, pride flags that were displayed on our front yards were stolen. This is what the flag looked like. Christine Parkinson displayed it proudly on her lawn in support of her son, Tanner, who was gay. Well, it hits home personally. I do have uh, one of my children is gay. Um, this has been a 10-year thing with schools, with employers, um, now with my neighbors. 26-year-old Tanner says he thought Burlington was more accepting, but admits being gay when he was younger was a challenge. When I was in high school, I think, oh my God, I had everything happen to me. I had um, everything from slurs. I had a kid desecrate my locker. In university, I had a roommate who would use every slur in the book. Um, I got death threats. I got threats on Facebook. Several residents who had their pride flag stolen as well filed police reports. Halton police told CHCH News Hate and division have no place in Halton, and we are committed to fully investigating these incidents and identifying the individuals responsible. Nicole Boyd and her husband started this pride flag campaign in a response to the Halton Catholic School Board voting against flying the pride flag. We just knew that more support was needed, more visual support. The whole objective was just so that anyone walking by our house and any other house sees that support, love and acceptance is there for them no matter who they are. Nicole Boyd says because of the theft, several people have reached out to order more signs and make donations to her GoFundMe page called Pride Flags Across Halton.